And I was thinking to myself, like, why, why does that happen? And I think actually it's because a lot of us are broken inside. So we don't fix the stuff that's broken. We mask over it. You know, so it's like I grew up, I grew up without, I suffered, I was told I'm worthless. Now that I have it, I'm going to show everybody. Because if they affirm to me that I am, then I must be. And it's not until you get to a stage where you realize the affirmation is not necessary, that you're truly free. So as you build your business, I'm telling you now that if it's the external affirmation you're looking for, you're going to sickle. You're not going to get it, guys. It's hard. Like, and it's, it's not unless you walk the journey, right? It's when you are in it that you're like, why don't they get it? Yeah, the world must be, they're losing their minds. Have you ever seen something that nobody else sees, but you know it's there because you can see it. You're like, nah, and you explain it, but they don't see it, right? And in that, the only thing that keeps you sane is if the only affirmation you need is you. So it's kind of counterintuitive, right? Quickly, before we start, I've got to tell you this. I'll tell you why it's counterintuitive. Um, anthropologists and human science specialists both have studied prisons. Prisons are a fascinating thing, right? Because when you're a human being, what we do in this thing called a society, very careful of society, by the way, because society is nothing more than a system of normalized averages. So, so, so what it is, is we all come together and we go, well, for us, for there to be order in any system that can grow exponentially, ergo population growth, we need a system to manage it. And we're going to codify the system and we're going to call these things good behavior, etiquette, rules, laws. If you break them, we're going to punish you. We have to do it, otherwise there'll be disorder. Like if nobody tells you, sit on the right-hand side of the car and drive on the left-hand side of the road, you're going to sit wherever you want, you're going to drive however you want. And we can't create a society like that. So what society does is it writes these rules, it codifies them, that create the average for the average. The average human being should be like this. That's why your mom says, go to school, get a good education, get a job, get a husband, have two and a half kids, live in the White House with a picket fence. That's why you're told that, because your mother comes from a society with a system of normalized averages. And then you come up and go, no, nah, maybe not. Maybe I don't want to finish school. Or maybe I do, but I actually don't want to get a job. I actually want to go through five years of not knowing where my next meal is going to come from, because I've got a dream. The minute you break away from society's rules, it'll do exactly what they do to you in prison. So check this out. So you break the law, they send you to prison. Why? Because if we can remove you from broader society, we punish you. Yeah? Human beings, by their very nature, need interaction. This is a vital part of being a human being. When you're in prison and you break the rules, what do they do then? They put you in isolation. So just to be clear, to the strongest, toughest, most evil people of society, the single most powerful form of punishing them is separation. It's not physical punishment. It's I'm going to put you in a hole, alone. That's it. And it will break you. That's why people don't have the courage to walk the path of entrepreneurship. Because the minute you're walking, you're going, holy shit, I'm alone. You get it? Yeah? So this thing, hey guys, this thing is so powerful, man.